my life cluttered. I'm an artist. All right, so this just arrived at my house. This is a box containing S13 coilovers for my Nissan. Uh, cut the straps here. Sick right now, so if I sound weird, don't be alarmed. If I sound normal, that's better for me. <laughs> okay, so I'll get back to you when I have all this packaging off. Okay, so I got the plastic off. I'm just gonna cut the tape. bringing up the garbage can so I'm just gonna wait for the okay so now my brother brought the, the recycling and trash can up uh, I'm gonna unbox this for you guys wow this is bigger than what I thought the picture doesn't really do it much justice okay I'm gonna get all these all the packaging laid out get it laid out so you guys can see okay so I got all the plastic and stuff out now it's time to get the Get all these out of their sheets. It's going to take a couple seconds. So I'm going to record it. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to unbox all of them for you, but uh, here it is. Max, can you guys see that? Max beating rods. I believe these are the ones that they had on uh, Hoonigan Daily Transmission. Go hit them up. Uh, they make really good videos. I wish I could be like them, but I'm not. Hootigan, if any of you guys see this, give me a shout out. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the coils. Oh, yeah. Some of the coil wrenches. Max speeding rods. Uh, these don't actually seem that bad. Dial to adjust it. Uh... So these are gonna set up like that inside the car. I gotta get the adapters for the rear, but I have uh, set up over here. I have the front adapters, the weld on ones, weld onto the knuckle, bolt the coil to it. It goes on looking like this. eBay. Uh, I'll just have to shave that out later. It goes on looking like this. The coil bolts to that because stock, the Nissan, doesn't come, have a very good suspension. Well, it has a good suspension setup because that was a originally $26,000 car in 87. But as you can see, the suspension's in dire need of replacement. Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see back there. But it's all worn out, it's tired. It's running on the bump stop, the lowering springs, not even seated correctly. Uh, what do you think of it? First impressions, talk louder. First impressions, these things actually. I was expecting worse. Ooh, focus ST. Focus ST. Uh, so what do you think about it? It's got the little pillow ball at the top. I don't think it needs it, but it's a, it's a good feature. It's got the camber. It's got the camber adjustment up here. Yeah. And then I think, yeah, this is the little adjustment knob where you can adjust the dampening. I don't know if it actually does anything. It's just... Mm. A feature that they have, and then these are uh, aluminum collars, if you will. These are uh, red collars that you put the uh, that you put the uh, 
Yeah. Everybody who watches this video is gonna know how coil how coilovers work. I I just want to feel how this how this. I just want to feel it. This struggles. Hang yeah. So you just loosen and tighten it while it's on the car. Select the uh, desired ride height. Uh, uh, these, these, little, these, these have a, uh, the bottom part actually twist, they're not like the, uh, the super cheapo ones where they adjust the spring, the spring rate to yeah, lower you, and raise the You car. can adjust ride height and spring rate on these. And also the uh, shock rate, like the dampening. Okay, so, uh, first impressions on these seem pretty good. Uh, certainly better than cut springs. And, uh, I'll make a video of installing them on a Z. And, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Probably expect it within the next week or two. Whenever I have the rear adapters in, and whenever I feel like welding on the front ones. Uh, so yeah, see you guys later. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment if you uh, want me to go into more detail in some about some things. So yeah, see you guys later.